Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Hey, you go out to eat a lot. Yes. Real frequently. Yes. In fact, you have lunch almost every day, don't you? Uh, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So you're a pretty good judge of a good restaurant? Mm, yeah. I okay. Would, I would hope so. But what about a bad restaurant? Do you know when you're in a bad restaurant? I would think I do. I would hope I do. In oh. fact, I used to work at a rest several <laughs> restaurants, so... And I worked at a bad restaurant. All right. Today on Men Are So Smart, signs that you are in a dirty restaurant and what to do. This should be good. Stay tuned. Hi there and welcome to Men Are So Smart. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And on the show today, we're going to be talking about signs that you're in a dirty restaurant. Before we get to that one, let you know, we hope that you'll enjoy the show all the way through today. Watch it till the end. And, and when you do, give it a thumbs up. Like our show. YouTube really likes when your videos get a lot of likes yep. and comments. So feel free to leave those below. And also, please subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate that. You can do so by clicking that red subscribe button that you see below. And right next to it, there's a bell. Oh, the bell. The Super bell. Super important. Yeah, because when you click on that. Muy importante. You, you get uh, notices of absolutely. new shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do yeah. that. All right. Nobody wants to eat a meal in a dirty, grungy restaurant. Sure, greasy spoons and holes in the wall may have a certain charm, and they do. But once they veer into public health hazard. <laughs> All bets are off. That's why today we're going to identify some obvious and some not so obvious ways to tell you're in a dirty restaurant. Yep. This first one, not 100% always true, but many times. And that's the exterior isn't well maintained. Yeah, it's the first thing you see. Yeah. So, I mean, if it's broken down and not painted and garbage on the sidewalk, that's yeah. probably a good sign. Mm -hmm. When you arrive at the restaurant, take a look around before you even walk through the door. Are there dumpsters overflowing? <laughs> trash strewn about the parking lot? <laughs> is there lot? a dumpster fire? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is the awning or sign filthy and falling down? Could the whole place use a paint job? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, you might want to reconsider eating there. Good tip. Next up, it smells. <laughs> yeah. The first and thing not the good kind of smell. No. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you should do when you enter a restaurant is breathe in deep. Take a sniff. Does it smell like garbage, grease, or God forbid anything unpleasant? <laughs> if so, you leave immediately, if not sooner. Uh, next up. It has a bad health department rating. Yeah, it's probably a good sign. That's a really good sign. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if every county has this same thing, but Sacramento definitely does. The county health department goes around, they check all the restaurants, and they give them an A to a, a Z rating. I think it's Z. actually A to F. But, <laughs> uh, and I have re eaten at restaurants that have below A and B ratings. Really? Yeah. Even after you saw it? Take a chance. Okay. You know. Right. What, what doesn't uh, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, <laughs> uh, here's a telltale sign right here. The menus are dirty. They're Ew. filthy dirty. Make sure that it, it, a restaurant should make sure that their menus are in pretty good condition. That's kind of a basic task. And if they're stained or sticky or in otherwise bad shape, you. And not a good sign. Yeah. And we actually talk about this about hotels also. Yeah. If you're going to order room service, if, mm -hmm. the, if the menus, even if the room, you know, if the menus are sticky, maybe you wouldn't get a different room. Dirty menus. Yuck. Yeah. Uh, this next one, the floors and walls are dirty. Flies <laughs> hanging on the walls. Yeah. Third world country <laughs> they style. They all chipped in to get the back screen door fixed. <laughs> Uh, are there steaks, are there streaks or sauce on the walls? <laughs> the steaks on the walls? <laughs> I got to, there. To attract the flies. Yeah, I'm yeah. there. Uh, are the corners of the floors caked with dirt? Do your shoes stick to the floor a little as you walk around? Ooh. That's not good. If any of these uh, are present, move to the next restaurant. Uh, or for that matter, if anything is sticky, yeah. Like your table, oh. your seat. <laughs> you got a sticky seat, Ron? Yeah. <laughs> or Sometimes. are the condiments sticky? Well, they can't be both clean and sticky at the same time. <laughs> no. That's, it's just not possible. They don't go hand in hand. No. 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 Uh, next one, check out the bathrooms. Oh, yeah. Are the bathrooms kind of gross? Mm -hmm. uh, 
if a uh, dirty bathroom is a best indicator short of inspecting a kitchen that a restaurant isn't safe to eat at. If the toilets are gross, the garbage is overflowing, the toilet paper or paper towels are running low, the sink and mirror covered in grime and the floor is a mess, that's a really good sign that there's a lack of attention in the cleanliness department. Yeah, and it probably extends into the kitchen, I would think. Yeah, very often. You know, and, and it, you know, usually when we go out, the, 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 the Mrs. and I, Mrs. Gallagher, um, she, well, as soon as we get to the restaurant, she has to go potty. Right. So uh, a woman going in is the best judge uh, of oh, the woman's room. You know? Yeah. Not that I would know. <laughs> we never, we really don't know what goes on in women's restrooms. We're, I don't want to know. Restrooms do it. I really don't want to know. And why do they go in pairs? Uh, what are they doing in there? Are they I prefer that nobody goes in the bathroom with playing me. Playing ping pong in there yeah, or something? And why do they need a couch in there? <laughs> I hear there's couch? couches. Yeah. My God. I know. These women. I'll tell you. <laughs> there's no soap in the soap dispenser. Oh. Now, when we talked about this earlier, Ronnie, you go, that's not such a big I deal. I said, eh. No big deal. Whatever. Yeah, well, what are the employees washing their hands with? Hmm. That does make you wonder. Uh, yeah. If you, if you notice that there's no soap, you should leave immediately. In many restaurants, the dining room restroom is the only one in the on the premises. Not many have space in the kitchen for a staff-only restroom. That's why nearly all restaurant bathrooms have signs telling employees to wash their hands right. before they return to work. California state law. Mm -hmm. Probably... Every other state also. I would hope. Uh, this next one, this is getting tougher and tougher to find. Uh -huh. If your server is unkept. <laughs> A lot of servers these days. Sean Kemp? Yeah, they... <laughs> <laughs> no. A, A lot of servers look a little bit messy. If uh, they, how so, Ron? Please, well, don't... If they, don't they look like a homeless them. person, you know, where they... They have a spot on the floor where they're sleeping on a bunch of newspapers. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Um, you know, it's... What about a man bun? A man bun? Yeah, that's that's a no-go in my book. I'll, I'll go elsewhere. Didn't you have a mirror someplace next to your door? <laughs> you should, yes. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, if their clothes are tattered and they smell... Or even worse, the server is sick. Oh, oh, that's... <laughs> That's, that's way worse. Are you kidding me? That's way and worse. And you came to work like that? If your ser server is uh, sneezing, <clears throat> blowing their nose constantly, uh, or they just look like they're under the weather, you're completely within your rights to either request a different server or just leave. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the latter. Yeah, see ya. Uh, next up. You find a hair, or worse, in your food. A finger? That'd be worse. A fingernail. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, uh, my gosh. Yeah, cooks are supposed to take great pains to make sure that their hair doesn't find its way into your food. They're supposed to wear hair nets, and many restaurants provide beer nets. Uh, beard nets. I thought that were uh, was beer, beer nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they really should provide those. <laughs> beard nets oh, also. Okay. In fact, if you go to uh, Sam's Club or Costco, uh -huh. all their servers there, well, the ones with the facial food? hair. Oh, okay. They wear, they have beard nets, and it's very... I don't know. I think I know what that is. I'll... I'll try to find it, one. It looks a lot like a hairnet, except like a surgical mask. Uh -huh. It's like a surgical mask oh, okay. that they just wear but I got over you. this. Uh, so if you find a hair in your food, that means that there's an issue with cleanliness in the kitchen. And if you find a fly in your soup, that's a major red flag as well. Hey, Ronnie, what's that fly doing in your soup? Uh, appears to be the backstroke. Thank you. Yes. We'll be here all week. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you, I did work <laughs> I was at, there for you. I worked at a restaurant for probably two years, uh -huh. two different restaurants. And the first one was not a great, it was super busy. Everybody loved it. It was an Italian restaurant, mm -hmm. very, very busy restaurant, not super, super clean. And that was, I was a busboy. And we, that was kind of our responsibility. We kind of shirked it off. Yeah, well, we, who needs that? We weren't that crazy it about that. It was the that. 70s. But we never got a complaint about anything being in the food. So I guess that's a that's a bonus. Yeah, I you know that feeling that you get when you're you're chewing, I don't know, a sandwich or something? You're chewing and all of a sudden you go. Yeah. 
that grosses me out. <laughs> so it turns into a it's magic a trick. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kitchen workers aren't washing their hands. Now, there's no way to know that unless you see them in the restroom. Right. Uh, but you got to hope <laughs> and pray that they are. It may be tough to tell. Uh, but if you have the opportunity to sneak a peek into the kitchen, check to make sure that the cooks are wearing gloves when handling ready-to-eat food and are washing their hands. And if you happen to be in the restroom, blah, 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 keep an eye on whether they watch, wash or not. Because as you're saying, your whole staff didn't do that kind of stuff. No. If one guy doesn't do it, nobody's doing it. the likelihood yeah. is no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this one I've already admitted to okay. uh, earlier with you. Tables are cleaned with a dirty rag. Oh, tell the story. Okay, so when I was a busboy, <laughs> we got our rag at the beginning of shift, and you kept it in your back pocket. One. And if it fell on the floor while right. you're wiping a yeah, table, yeah. you just pick yeah. it up and you can continue going. You don't throw that in a dirty no. rag. No. 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 We didn't have that silly. many rags. Yeah, we <laughs> only had about a dozen. So. <laughs> wow. Yep. Oh, my gosh. The things you learn in restaurants. <laughs> the tables aren't properly bussed. Bussing a table involves more than removing the dirty dishes and wiping the table down. What? Have I know. News to you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Have the dirty dishes been left festering on an empty table for a long time? Is the floor around the table also being cleared of dropped food and empty sugar packets? Are the seats and condiments being wiped down? These are also things worth paying attention to. Yep. Uh, that ketchup bottle. Think about that. Oh, yeah. At a burger restaurant. Oh, boy. Fries. Uh, gross. Uh, this next one. Lipstick stain on the glassware. Oh, that's tacky. Yeah, if, especially if it's not your lipstick. Or your shade. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because ta that is tacky. Right. Uh, make sure you inspect your glassware before you drink out of it. Not just for lipstick marks, but also for fingerprints from where the glass may have been held from the top. Hundreds, if not thousands of people have been, have put their lips on that glass, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely crucial that it's thoroughly clean before you do the same. Use a straw. Vicky always gets a straw. Yep. I never use a straw. Well, girls do that because of lipstick, I think. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, you know what? Me, I just put more lipstick back on. I just take my... <laughs> you just reapply. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, touch up. I'm willing to take my chances, put my lips right on a glass. Put a nighttime shade on, something like that, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, plates and silverware aren't properly cleaned. Uh, oh, man. When I look down and I see something on my fork, it's like, are you kidding me? Yeah, something dried on there. You know, there uh, are certain things as a restaurateur that have to happen for you to run a successful business. And if you can't even get the silverware clean, the, again, where else should I look? Yeah. You know? Yep. Excuse me, Mr. Cockroach. Could I? Could you pass me the salt? <laughs> when you're done using my fork, I'd right. like to have it back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. This one. Uh, flies are buzzing around. Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> or worse yet, you see a lot of dead flies having eaten the food. They're now passed away. <laughs> uh, and there's a memorial service going on for them. Oh. So flies are buzzing around. If you're swatting flies away while you're trying to eat your meal, <laughs> that means that the cooks are doing the same while they're trying to prepare it. Yeah. Fly infestations are indicative of a large hygiene problem. And it's sometimes that high-end restaurants, uh, something that res high-end restaurants take very seriously. Well, a lot of times they leave the back doors open too, right. you know? Yep. And, and it, maybe they have or don't have a screen door on there. Well, I know at the... Not so clean Italian restaurant that I worked at. We had those fly strips. Oh, those are great. Hanging yeah. around. That's a great the, visual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hanging around in the kitchen and in the dishwashing area. You know why those flies are dead on that fly strip? They wouldn't eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, con they're disconcerting. All right. So there you have our signs of knowing that you're at a bad restaurant. And we don't wish that on anybody, really. Uh, well, maybe a few. You know what? I will tell you, though, there is a Chinese restaurant that I really like that probably checks off every box here. Really? Yeah. And you still eat there? I still eat there. They have great food. I just, whatever. I, you only live once. Mm. Well, the only thing that's worse than that is bad service. 
Uh, yes. And, you know, uh, again, you, you got to be transparent when you're in business. And well, and I will tell you that this Chinese restaurant, I go in there. I used to go in there once a week when I was working patrol. Uh, I go in there now, and I have go in there only maybe every six months. He knows exactly my order. Uh -huh. So... And he still gives me a little discount, so that's I, pretty nice. I love that. Yeah, I have a friend like that in Woodland, and I'm, oh, the name of the restaurant is Treasure Dragon. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice plug. I'll I'll make sure he sees this episode. All right, that's gonna do it for us. We hope that you enjoyed the show today. Please give it a like. Uh, YouTube really appreciates that when they see it. Uh, they like a like. They like, and also subscribe to our channel. I'm asking politely, please. Don't make me come to your house and kick over your garbage cans. Because we'll do it. Oh, you know we will. Yeah. Men are so violent. No, that's not what I meant. All right. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. When you do, you get notifications each time a new show comes out. Please be sure and check out our website as well. Uh, it's menaresosmart.com. You've seen it flashing across the screen several times. Our email addresses are coming as well. Uh, you can see those right down there below. Uh, if for any reason you want to contact us on a personal level as opposed to leaving a public comment, you can do that, and we respond to those uh, rather quickly. I and think. we do love the comments on the videos. Absolutely. So, yeah, so mm -hmm. make your comments. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. Oh, and be sure and tell us how much you love and admire us. That helps. Yeah. That'll help you get a, a, a reply. <laughs> We don't care. We'll agree with you, obviously. <laughs> I'm Luke Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. We'll see your butt on the next Men Are So Smart.